Hi everyone, Amanda Hartman here, speech pathologist. Welcome to our Facebook Live this morning with Assistive Wear. I'm just checking my feed now to check that we are indeed going live and we can make a start. All right, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you to everybody joining us. Come on in. Yep, I can see that we are definitely live. And I've got my small iPad here so that I can watch any incoming comments. So I'm gonna turn my comments on. So I can see there's already people out there joining, watching. Hi everybody. Uh, so great to be here again and I'm so excited to be able to share Possum Magic with you today. A really classic, favorite, all time favorite Australian book. And it's really nice to be able to share it with y'all. Um, so let's make a start. I've got my new quick communication boards. Hey, were you guys able to download them and print them off and make them this week? Love to hear about it. Hi Shannon, who else have we got joining us? Hi Claudia, uh, lots of uh, people that I know and hopefully some new people come and join us too. <laughs> so let's just get on with it. Um, I wanted to just point out two really important things. My friends Pam and Isabel will be um, answering and answering any questions you have or responding to any comments you make. Um, they're watching live as well. Hi guys, thanks always for being there to help me. Now Claudia has just, I pointed out, I started out by talking about our quick communication boards, which of course are very popular um, and already we've published them in, in um, English. <laughs> we are in the process of translating them to our other languages that we support being a Dutch, French and Spanish. So please watch this space, be a little bit patient with us as we uh, get all the design work. Um, so they're coming, they are coming soon. Hello, I've got somebody coming from, is that Wales? <laughs> Welcome, you're up late. <laughs> And Ashling, I think we met last week. Nice for you to come along today. And, oh, hi, Nate's here. Hi, Nate. How you doing, mate? Nate's my mate. Good. Probably you don't like people saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, so we're going to read the book Possum Magic. And it's by Mem Fox and Julie Vivas. Here we go. So, oh, what was the other thing I wanted to say? I love you guys to have an opportunity to ask questions. So let's have a look at our schedule for today because I want to remind you after the few little things that we're going to do together, I'm going to give you time to? Questions. Time for questions. Oh, let's just turn me up here, make my voice a bit louder. Questions. Questions. So there's going to be time for questions. So start thinking you can ask questions as you go. Hi Isabel from Spain. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining in. And you know what I think is really interesting? We are all, we all come from different places. And I'm reading a book <laughs> where you can see, where you see what we like to eat in Australia. <laughs> so that's gonna be different for some of you. I'm obviously from Australia. I can see lots of Aussies joining me. We are all from here, but you guys might be from somewhere different. Do you know what I'd like to know? No. I would like to know from you guys, like where are you at in your communication, dare I say the word, journey? <laughs> where are you at? Do you, are you like a newbie just starting out? Um, or do you think you're kind of like an expert or you've been doing it for a while or you're kind of somewhere right in the middle there? We'd love to know where you're at with your AAC and why you come and watch these videos, what you're kind of hoping to get out of it. So let's see what we are doing today in... Miss Amanda's reading session. My reading session today. Of course, we're going to... Read the book. Read the book. That will be a good start. That's what you came for. And... Think about words and sounds. We're going to think about some words and sounds and letters that we've found in the book. And I hope that you guys will help me with that. And then... Make a Vegemite sandwich. Oh, I have something to say. I need a feeling word. Feelings. I'm a little bit excited about that one. I get my breakfast today too. Woohoo! Vegemite. Brilliant. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. 
you're all gonna wanna go away and make a Vegemite sandwich. Okay, so that's our plan. And remember? Questions. And then questions. All right, so let's take a look, look. at the book. Now, if you've watched a few of my videos before, you might notice that I love modeling core words. Core words are the important building blocks of language. I don't go live in a noun town. I don't show the nouns as much. I can, but really it's most important that we teach our learners to build language by being able to put together these core words, which are all the colored uh, buttons that I have on my homepage and on my quick communication boards and my core word boards. Teaching core words is so important to our learners. Teaching core words gives them power and flexibility. Nouns, nouns only lets them like label and match stuff. And there's no, oh well that's not bad, but there's not as much meaning in that. So what's the point of being able to say car if I can't say where is the car? Or that I like cars? Or that we are gonna go in the car? Those words are much more important. So please notice that today, that when I'm reading the book, I'm more likely to show you the core words and how I can join them together to make sentences and add meaning to what I'm saying. Okay, let's start. Possum magic. Possum magic. Now, once upon a time in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Oh, 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 I like, I like these possums. Hmm, I wonder what, what? will they do? Oh, wow! Look! Look at that! Grandma Poss can do, do. I've got it on my fun page. Magic. She can do magic! That means that she can make, make things different. different. She can make things different. She can, action words, she can change, change things. Look, she made the wombat blue. Oh, that's funny. And the kookaburra is pink. Wow. Okay, so she can change, change. things. She can do. do magic. Make different, change, change, do. Do, that's it. But her greatest magic of all was when she made hush. Oh look, there's the little possum. <gasps> invisible, invisible. That's a long word. Invisible means that we, we cannot can not see, see her. We cannot see hush. She's invisible. Oh, <gasps> I know what I wanna say. I have a question. Would you, you like would you like to be invisible <gasps> maybe it could be fun all right let's have a look at what happens when you're invisible okay oh look let me turn the page so you can see now one of my friends wrote about this page let's see what they wrote activities possum magic folder here we go now see Sit on. Oh, see, look, we can not see Hush. <laughs> and so the koala sat on him. That was a bit funny. He sat on. He sat on Hush. <laughs> what other adventures does she have? <gasps> wow, this looks fun. Ready? Let me open it all the way up so you can see it. <gasps> Wee! Remember? can not see. We cannot see Hush. So now she can go, go. Down, down the kangaroo, down the kangaroo, down, 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 down the kangaroo. Wee! Hmm. What's next? <gasps> Uh-oh. I have something to say. I can see something that makes me feel. It makes me feel. A little scared. It's a snake. Watch out, Hush. Oh, but you know what? It's okay because we can. The snake, he, he can, can not, not see. see Hush. So that's good news. It means that he can not 
eat. He could not eat Hush. But one day, Hush wanted to be seen. Hmm. He wanted to be seen. He said, oh look, I can not, not see. I cannot see me. Grandma Poss, can you help? Help. Can you help? What, what can we do, do so that everyone can see? see. Hold it down, me. me. Yeah. Hmm. And with that, Grandma Poss had to think. He had to think. think. Grandma Poss had to think. Hmm. What do we do? And then one day, she remembered. Oh, we have to go. Go. Eat. We have to go and eat food. That seems like a good idea. We have to go and eat food. Oh, I wonder, what eat. will they eat? Eat. That is, sounds like some good, good describing words magic. magic. So maybe if she eat. eats some food, then we will be able to see, see her. Yes. Okay, I wonder. Let's have a look. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, Minties in Melbourne, steak in Sydney. Hmm, but we still cannot no. see. See. And then one day, good morning, Debbie. I see lots of people arriving. If you're just coming in, Thanks so much for being here. My name's Amanda and I'm one of the speech pathologists with the Sister Wear and we're halfway through reading Possum Magic. Sorry if you missed the start. You can always go back and watch this video later if you like it. Okay, just Debbie there today. Well, give Kelly a hug for us when she does wake up. Okay, we're getting to the exciting bit because one day, look, oh, hush, she got eat. to eat a Vegemite sandwich. And all of a sudden, look, now we can see her tail. Brilliant. We can see her tail, it's so exciting. Oh, what do you think? I think she should go. Go. To some more different, different places and she should eat, eat some more different. different food. Okay, oh, and up here, they're eating pavlova. Oh, if you do not know what that is, that is a very good, delicious, special dessert that we eat, eat here in Australia and New Zealand. Okay, turn the page. Oh, we can now see, see more mm. of Hush. Oh, and the last one. Hooray. Check it out. She's eating another special cake. She's going to eat. eat some lamingtons and ta-da, hooray, look, there's Hush. Now, now we, we, we can, can see, see her, hooray. That's so good. Oh, and I like this last page. Now we can see Hush, but every year we eat Eat all, all those different. different foods so that we can always oh. see, see her. Oh, look, they're eating all the different foods and everyone is. It's like they're having a party. Hmm. Okay, oh, that's the end of the story today about possum magic. An amazing story. They got to eat lots of different, different. food. Now, there was something I noticed in that book. So if I go to my schedule for today... I want to think about... Think about words and sounds. I want to think about some of the words and the sounds in the book. And I think, let me get my whiteboard so that we can check it out. Because I heard some of the same sounds and letters at the beginning. And maybe you guys can help me. Let's find it. Hi again, everybody. We've just finished Possum Magic. And now we're going to do some... Alliteration. That means we're going to look at the first sounds. Let's try it. So, remember when they were eating the food? Do, do, do. Let's see, where was it? Here, look, they ate different food. Let's write it down. I need my alphabet to help me. 
because the first was using the letter A. And they ate, let me write it on, for A, they wrote, ate something in Adelaide. They ate uh, Anzac biscuits. Look, they start with the same sound, Adelaide Anzac biscuits. Can you think of any foods that start with A that we can add to our list? Hmm, we should make a plan for all the things we could eat that start with A. Anzac biscuits, I'm gonna wait and see if anybody thinks of something. Oh, nothing? Come on, guys. I was thinking, you gotta do some work out there. I was thinking an apple. In Adelaide, I eat Anzac biscuits and an apple. All right, let's do one more. Hmm, what else did they eat? Oh, when they were in Melbourne, Melbourne. When I say the word Melbourne, I, oh, people did say apple. I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Melbourne, start thinking of something that we eat that starts with mmm. I'll write it out. You guys tell me. Okay, when I'm in Melbourne, oh, I didn't spell it right. When I'm in Melbourne, what will I eat? Oh, I've got some Dutch answers. Haha. <laughs> I've got minties in Melbourne. That's an Australian lolly or sweet. And oh, somebody else. Oh, now I'm getting lots of things. And I'm going to eat muffins in Melbourne. I'm going to eat mints in Melbourne. You guys are great. <gasps> Meatballs in Melbourne. <laughs> Mandarins in Melbourne. You guys know so many words that start with the letter M that we can eat as well. I've got a, I've got a long list. I can't even fit it. Mangoes in Melbourne. Nate, did you think of that? Mangoes. I would like to eat mangoes in Melbourne. Awesome. It's really fun to write lists of words that start with the same sound. And I found some in the book to get me started and then you guys helped me out. Thank you very much for that. Okay, well I have to say though, because I need to check the time. So let me go and have a look at the time. The time is... The time is 7.17 evening. Oh no, we've got to go quick. Otherwise I will run out of time. And if I look at my schedule, it is time to... Make a veggie mite sandwich. Yay! I am going to make, make. a veggie mite sandwich. See? Did you see, I think I've used so many core words today as I'm talking to you guys all. So here's all my stuff for the Vegemite sandwich. First of all, describing words. I need a big, a big jar of Vegemite. We always get, get the big. big jar because we eat, mm, I want to say more. We eat how much, how many? We eat... Lots. lots. We eat lots of Vegemite at my house. And I've got some bread and some butter and I've got my plate and a knife. Okay, so let's see. Let's, I'm going to get, get some bread out. I know, Debbie is right. Now today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a Vegemite sandwich. But if you want a special treat, make sure that you, uh, where is it? Put. Put. Vegemite and avocado. Delicious. Okay, so here we go. I've got my bread. Have to start with butter too. So I am going to put, put on in. some butter. This is how we do it. Lots. Oh, I need to more. Mm. I'm going to put, put on in. more mm. butter. Don't look. <laughs> lots and lots of butter. That's okay. That's okay. It makes it taste very good. good. In fact, if I hold down good, I can get it makes it taste better. better. Yep, that's the word I need. Better. I, it tastes much better with lots of butter. Better with butter. Ha! More butt sounds there. Okay, now I'm going to put, put on mm. the Vegemite. <laughs> okay, so now... Not too much, maybe that's too much, but that's okay. I'll just put it on anyway today. I put a little bit on both sides. There we go. Oh, I've got to 
put, put on the Vegemite. And now squish it together. And hmm, action words. I'm going to use, use my knife to cut it. Aha, uh -huh. it's ready. Should I taste it? Of course. I, I will, will eat. Eat. Mmm. Yum. Did I get Vegemite on my face? Whoops. Great. Ah. Oh. I, I like. I like Vegemite sandwiches. <laughs> Have you ever tried Vegemite? It's an Australian specialty. And remember, in our book of possum magic, the possum had to eat, had to eat the Vegemite sandwich too. Mmm, okay. Now, I'm going to... Finished. I'm going to be finished for today, talking to you all, and it's time for questions. So if you want to start getting yourselves organised to ask me some questions while I'm here and available, that would be great. And while you're doing that, I'm going to give you my star rating of my book. More, I've made myself a folder so I can tell you what I thought of the star rating. Or what I thought of the book actually. So five stars means I liked it a lot. One star means it was okay. And everything between. I think today, yep, let's do it. Five stars. I really liked it. Let's give it five stars for today. So, now's the time to start typing in your questions. We've still got plenty of time for questions today. And please type in and ask me any questions. I see some of you have never even tried Vegemite. Some of you had have had it. Um, it's kind of salty, that's true. That's why we have Vegemite with avocado and butter on our toast and on our sandwiches. It's an Australian thing. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> Some people might, mm, let's say, might not Milk. like. like. <laughs> so, but we all, it, most Australians like Vegemite. So, you, I heard that there were some questions today um, that you were asking about the quick communication boards. I know Pam and Isabel have shared the link for you. We've told you that it's coming in other languages. I'm using Prolicor to go. I've got it on my big big iPad. So yes, this is a iPad Pro and it's at that larger inch size, it's like 13 point something inches and I've got it in this nice big case. So it is kind of, does look really nice and big, it's really fantastic as opposed to the smaller standard size iPad. So I really do, I do like the larger iPad, yeah. So I can see lots of people asking about that, yeah. It is. You're getting some good answers from me and from the team there. Any more questions? Ah, somebody asked about, I bought this case from Amazon. It says it's called, it's a Pure Sense case. I just ordered it from Amazon and it came really fast. So, um, yeah, I can try and find the link to it to... Uh, send you the link for where I got the iPad case from for anybody interested. Okay, so anybody need any questions about the core word stuff? Do you all use core words out there? Is that what you're doing in a lot of your, your teaching and your learning with your kids? You're using core words? Give me a thumbs up for yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Okay. So somebody's just asking about captioning and we are in the process of trying to caption these longer videos, obviously, so then that can be translated in other languages. Um, yay, Julia says, core words rock. Thank you. So yes, please just give us a bit of patience. It takes a little bit longer to caption these longer videos, um, to place them on YouTube. We have put them up on YouTube. You could try and see whether the automatic captioning in YouTube works for you. Um, yeah, so, but please be patient with us. We're going to keep doing it. Okay, so somebody's just asked about shared reading 
And is it a good idea to use the symbols while reading? And basically, uh, yes it is. I think shared reading should be about that opportunity, first of all, to connect and engage, but then secondly, to show the language that's in the book. You'll notice when I'm reading, sometimes I read the actual words in the text, but lots of times, well, lots of times, um, I am focusing on what's happening in the pictures. So during shared reading, I often do that, making a comment, asking questions, waiting for responses. Um, and yeah, I focus on showing the core words as I'm telling the story, rather than spending a long time just reading the text. Because I think that shared reading is that opportunity to be together and engage and interact with what's happening. And if I get caught just reading all of the words, I might miss that opportunity to engage and be able to show my AAC. Um, the other part that somebody asked as well is about whether there are any particular, um, any particular books that, um, that, that you would use for core words. Well, you know what? That's the most beautiful thing about core words. Core words can be used for any book. So choose, choose a book that's fun, engaging, or that the learner really likes. And basically, you can find core words in any book that you open. I could grab any, and without using any nouns, because you know quite often the nouns are the pictures in the book. So I can point, I can model some core words like, um, uh, oh, I see and then point to the picture, the possum. I've got the pictures and the nouns in the book, so I'm gonna use any book, picture book that I read that's fun and engaging to, as a chance to model the core words. So, um, and yeah, I'm just, just, I'm going back to your questions because you all had some good. Okay, so somebody asked me about, um, <laughs> the lots of questions all at the last minute, which is absolutely fine. That's why we're here. I've got this printed on A3. Um, I've also got an A2, a bigger printed one. I've also on this side of my room, and you might have seen it in some of my other videos, I've got the big A0 size poster. So for these bigger ones, I take them to my print shop and get them printed. Um, and so that's usually the best I mean, it's good to have them in the different sizes. Um, these ones are smaller, they're more portable. I can take it with me as opposed to ones that are fixed on the wall. So let's see if there are any other. So somebody again then just asked about my larger iPad screen. Yes, this is bigger, but this case that I bought has a holes for a strap. So usually I have a strap. So even though this iPad Pro at the 13 plus inches um, is a little bit bigger, I can still strap it on and wear it. So I think that that's, um, yeah, I think that that's fine. I mean, obviously for a, for a learner, the iPad mini size might be more portable and convenient. So it re really have to match your situation and, and how able they are to take their stuff, uh, their AAC with them or whether they need help. Okay, so now we're getting some thanks from people. <laughs> thank, well, um, thank you so much for all coming along and, um, and I'm glad that you're enjoying some of the videos. And I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that you all, oh good. Okay, there's more questions coming at the last minute. That's okay, that's okay. Somebody asked about the yes, no buttons. I didn't show them today, um, but they, uh, somebody found the link for them on Amazon. I'm sure I'll, I'll find the link and put that up for you as well. And I'm glad that you guys are agreeing about core words being so important and about how flexible they are for you to do for not just a storybook activity, but also for a um, cooking activity. Have another bite of my Vegemite sandwich. Mm, yum. Uh oh, well now I can't talk anymore. I've got food in my mouth, so I have to go. <laughs> so, again, thank you so much. My name was Amanda Hartman, and I'm one of the team at Assistive Wear, and we're really glad to be able to help you guys at the moment. Please leave us any feedback or comments, anything you want to see, please do it. So, thank you so much for joining us. Any last minute questions, I'll come back and have a look at them before I finish today, okay? So, thanks. Goodbye.